Hey there everyone, Ramesh here. In this video, let's quickly discuss 10 essential tools for Java developers. Well, these are the tools that I have been using since my 8 to 9 years of experience in Java development. And uh, these are the you know commonly and widely used tools that make life easier for Java developers. And uh, as a Java programmer, you may already know a few of the tools uh, in this list but if you are new to any of these tools then make sure to check it out if you are a java beginner and don't know about these tools then make sure to check it out because these tools will help you whenever you will work on real time java projects all right great without further ado let's get started So the first tool is Apache Maven. So Apache Maven is one of the popular uh, build tool. So we can do a lot of uh, you know things using Maven. Like we can use Maven as a build tool for Java project, and we can use a Maven as a you know dependency management. Uh, and Maven offers a lot of plugins uh, to perform different tasks. And we can use Maven to run JNU test cases as well. And we can also deploy different artifacts like jar, war file to the central repository. So probably you heard about Nexus, right? So we can use Maven to you know deploy artifacts to the Nexus uh, remote repositories. And we can also use Maven uh, for a simple documentation. And we can also use Maven plugins to integrate Java project with uh, you know source control systems like Git or SVN, etc. So Maven is very uh, you know essential tool for Java developer, and uh, since uh, uh, you know around eight to nine years I have been using Maven in Java development, and I found Maven one of the uh, you know very useful tool in Java uh, projects. So Maven is very essential tool for Java developer. You can make a enterprise Java application using Apache Maven, like you can create a multi-module Maven project and we can you know work on different modules and finally you can integrate different modules uh, into a single artifact using apache maven next is gradle a uh, gradle is again a open source build automation tool uh, that is based on the concept of apache maven and apache ant the main difference between gradle and maven is that Maven uses XML, uh, you know, for declaring a project configuration, but Gradle uses a DSL, uh, you know, DSL means domain specific language uh, instead of XML. All right, and uh, yeah, so Gradle is widely used uh, in uh, open source Java projects uh, such as uh, Spring projects and Hibernate projects. If you can check out the Spring projects. Uh, on github uh, and spring basically spring all the spring projects uh, we are using uh, gradle for project configuration i haven't used gradle much uh, and uh, yeah so one in one or two projects i have used gradle I, I am a big fan of maven and xml so i prefer using apache maven for you know developing uh, java projects The next tool is git so git is uh, you know more essential tool for java programmers it is free and open source uh, distributed version control system designed to handle everything from small to very large projects with speed and efficiency so real-time projects generally have multiple developers working in parallel right so they need to uh, you know have a version control system like git to make sure that there is a no code conflicts between them so also the requirements in you know real time projects uh, obtain changes so a version control system allows developers to revert and go back to the older versions of their projects and uh, also new, uh, developers can able to track the older and new, newer version of the uh, you know uh, project uh, using a uh, git so i have used git in many java projects as a version control system and if you haven't know about git yet then i highly suggest you guys learn and master advanced git concepts like branching merging reverting changes etc so basically i use git a lot uh, to manage a github repositories so i have hosted a lot of projects on github and to manage all these projects i use git all right so 
if you don't know about git then i highly suggest you guys to check out git uh, because uh, most of the it companies nowadays uses git as a version control system all right so next is jenkins so if you are from devops background then you must heard about jenkins tool right so jenkins is a open source automation server written in java it helps to automate the different part of parts of software development process like compiling projects running unit tests integration tests generating documentation and uploading artifacts on both local and repositories so i mean remote remote repositories this tool is must for java developers interested in devops and it's one of the most popular tools for continuous integration and implementing continuous delivery in your project if you have not used jenkins at then you should learn and use jenkins for your java project to automate the different parts of software development process like compiling projects running unit tests integration tests generating documentation and uploading artifacts on both local and remote repositories so jenkins is one of the essential tool uh, you know for java developers in devops so i highly suggest you guys to check in uh, check out jenkins for continuous integration and continuous delivery in project well the next is eclipse and intellij idea so ide is uh, one of the most important tools for java developers right to build a java project so i have been using eclipse uh, uh, most of the time in my java development experience uh, i never tried intellij idea but i heard a lot about intellij idea uh, you know basically intellij uh, you know comes with two editions uh, one is free edition and uh, second is ultimate edition so free community edition of intellij idea offers uh, basic features uh, useful for developing android and java applications but the ultimate edition uh, you know the most ad provides the most advanced setup features for developing web and desktop applications and the ultimate edition also supports integration of spring framework web development frameworks like node.js angular react and other java uh, you know technologies so i have been using eclipse a lot uh, for developing java and spring based projects i never tried intellij idea but i heard a lot about intellij idea so i don't want to compare eclipse and intellij idea here i just wanted to suggest you guys to check out uh, these two uh, you know most popular ideas for developing java projects so you can use either eclipse or intellij idea there is a no uh, issues about it next is docker docker is my favorite container tool for deploying java applications well docker is an essential tool for java developers working on enterprise application development projects basically it is a container platform that helps to build manage and secure a range of traditional applications as well as microservices so i have been using a docker a lot uh, for deploying you know microservices uh, on different uh, you know containers so docker is a software platform that allows you to build test and deploy applications quickly i have been using a docker a lot to deploying you know microservices on different containers and docker is you know very essential tool uh, for java developers and if you are planning for developing and deploying applications for the cloud then the, you know docker is an essential tool uh, to learn uh, for java developer so i highly suggest you guys to check out a uh, docker uh, one of the devops tool for deploying uh, you know your java applications on cloud so the next tool is jira so jira is a must know tool for java developers working in java development companies that follow agile methodologies basically jira is used for bug tracking issue tracking and project management i have worked in around five to six it companies and all of them were using jira so jira is a you know must know tool for java developers working in java development companies that follow agile methodologies if you are following agile development methodology in your it company then uh, you should aware with jira right so it allows you to basically create a sprint a planning sprint cycles and track the progress of your software development well just check out the jira uh, whenever you plan to join any it companies then check out the jira and its concept and the different uh, methodologies that jira uses to perform agile uh, you know project management 
Next tool is SVN. In my 8, year, eight to 9 years of Java development experience, I have used SVN as a version control tool for Java projects. Well, SVN stands for Subversion. Uh, it is a centralized version control system and it is one of the open source tool for version control. SVN basically used to manage the current and previous versions of files like source code files, documentation and all different files. It basically acts like a uh, you know, time machine for developers uh, because it allows them to go back and browse the history of the project and a lot of things. Some of the other popular Java version systems like Git, uh, they are uh, in a trend now. But there are some other large uh, number of projects that are still running on subversion that is SVN. So nowadays uh, Git is uh, you know trading a lot uh, but uh, some of the uh, IT companies prefer using SVN as a version control. All right. And if you are uh, new to SVN then you can give a try to this uh, you know version control tool. So next is Apache Ant. So from Marvin and Gradle, uh, some of the Java projects still use Apache Ant as a build tool. So Ant is basically a Java library and software tool uh, used for automating software build process such as compile, run, test and assemble Java applications. Nowadays most of the Java projects uses Apache Marvin or Gradle uh, but you can see the legacy Java projects in any IT companies they were uh, still using Apache Ant as a build tool. Nowadays, uh, most of the companies prefer using Marvin or Gradle uh, as a build and project man uh, dependency management uh, uh, you know, tool. So next tool is Java Decompiler. Well, sometimes we need to use a Java Decompiler to decompile a jar file. So basically, jar file contains a dot .class files, right? And dot .class file contains a bytecode. So sometimes we want to view the dot .class file source code and that is where uh, we need a java decompiler tool so we use java decompiler to decompile and analyze java bytecode it is not possible to read bytecode right so we need to uh, use a decompiler to decompile uh, you know dot, dot class files you can use uh, either decompile plugins in ides like uh, you can uh, use decompiler in either Eclipse or IntelliJ, IntelliJ IDEA. So whatever the ID supports, you can use the compiler plugin over there. Alright, guys. So these are the ten tools that I have been using in my Java development experience. So apart from these tools, uh, I I can suggest you guys to also check out Putty and WinSCP. So in case of deployment, uh, uh, I have used Putty and WinSCP a lot. Well, WinSCP is uh, basically free and open source uh, tool which we can use to transfer a, a file from local to remote computer uh, in a secure way. And Putty is basically used to interact with the remote directly. So Putty provides a command line interface to interact with the server. Well, just check out Putty and WinSCP which we use to basically deploy uh, Java projects on cloud or any remote uh, server. Alright guys, uh, apart from these tools, if you know any other best uh, tool which you feel uh, you know very essential for Java developers, then you can uh, you know uh, mention in a comment section so that everybody can uh, take uh, use of it. Alright guys, these are the tools I wanted to discuss uh, in this video. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in next video.